Do you think time is fundamental or, or emergent? I think ultimately it has to be emergent. Yeah, what does it mean for time to be emergent? Well, let's idea. review what it means for space to be emergent. <laughs> yes. What it means for space to be emergent is that um, you, you have a holographic plate and you shine some light that's moving in space and it produces an image which contains an extra spatial dimension and time just goes along for the ride. So what we'd like to do, and indeed there is some rather concrete work in this direction, though again, I would say even within our stringy community, we're not getting A pluses on these efforts. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we'd like to do is to see um, examples in which the extra space-time dimension is time. In other words, usually what, what we understand very well mathematically is how to take systems uh, in some number of space-time dimensions and rewrite them as a plate in fewer space dimensions. What we'd like to do is to take systems with one time and some number of space dimensions and to rewrite them is a system that had only space dimensions in it, had no time evolution. And there are some fairly concrete ideas about how to do that, but they're not you know, universally accepted even within the stringy community. But isn't it wild to you? Yes. For, for to be emergent? How yes. do we intuit these kinds of ideas as human beings for whom space and time seems as fundamental as, as well, apples and oranges. They're both illusions. Okay. They're both illusions, even time.